And I remember mentioning in that episode that cocoa butter is trying to replace, I mean, shea butter is now being used to replace cocoa butter because cocoa butter is very expensive and shea butter and cocoa butter have similar. Good day, my name is Dele Ayemi Bo, and you are welcome to another edition of Sharing Trade Information on DBA TV. In this edition of the show, we are going to be discussing another very interesting uh, topic, how to export share butter. In the last two episodes, we talked about how to export cocoa butter. And I remember mentioning in that episode that cocoa butter is trying to replace, I mean, share butter is now being used to replace cocoa butter because cocoa butter is very expensive and share butter and cocoa butter have similar characteristics so they can be used to replace each other, particularly when they are used in confectionaries, particularly when they are used in confectionery. Share butter is a slightly yellow or ivory color natural fat extracted from seed of the African shear tree. By the way, Nigeria is one of the largest producers of the shear tree uh, that produce shear nuts that is used in producing shear butter. This particular tree only begins to bear fruit after 20 years. That is why it's unwise to be cutting down these trees for charcoal 20 years. I believe there will be improved varieties soon to be able to reduce the number of years before it starts fruiting. Shea nut grows in the wild across subs, uh, across the Sudan and Sahel region of Africa. It's produced, you find it in Nigeria, in Togo, in Benin, in Ghana, in Uganda, Bali, Burkina Faso, Central African Republic, and the like. Now, let's go back to our focus shea butter. Shea butter at grade one, grade two, grade three. Grade one is described as the food grade. Grade one or grade A is defined as the food grade. And it is expected that the moisture should be 0.05% maximum. Free fatty acid, about 1% maximum. Peroxide value, about 10% maximum. Insoluble impurity should be 0.09% maximum. If there are, there are more than this, they can fall into grade two or grade B or fall into grade C, or fall into grade C. Now, or grade three, rather. Now, commercial grade A, B, and C are used in a lot of food items. Food item like chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate is also used in um, for medicinal purposes, for cosmetics, for medicinal purposes, and for cosmetics. Now, who are the major uh, buyer of this product? Who are the major buyer? of this product called shea butter. The major buyer of this product called shea butter is China. The major buyer of this product called shea butter is China, followed by France, followed by Germany, followed by United States, followed by Netherlands, Poland, Canada. What is the volume that these countries are buying? For example, China demand for share butter is $1.5 billion. France demand for share butter is about $367 million. Germany demand for share butter is $317 million. United States, $307 million. Netherlands, $273 million. Poland, $218 million. Uzbekistan, $211 million. Canada, $190 million. Chile, $161 million. Ireland, $145 million. China leading the way in the demand 
for shea butter. Now, how do you package this product? How do you package this product for export? Use container made of material suitable for storing shea butter, particularly full grade shea butter. A plastic bag, typically, and you put that plastic bag inside a carton. Ensure that the chosen material does not react or contaminate the butter. You can use jar. The shea butter can be put in jar. Sometimes they will put it in nylon, tie the nylon and put it in a jar. And it will take the shape of the jar. And it will take the shape of the jar. It is important to seal very well to ensure it is airtight. To seal very well and ensure it is airtight. It's also good to put tamper proof. Don't forget to label and brand it appropriately. Packaging size depends on the market and the interest or the preference of the buyer. And the preference of the buyer. Consider using inner liner to provide an additional layer of protection and prevent contamination. That's talking about the nylon. Uh, use appropriate filler to minimize risk of shear butter shifting during transportation. Choose packaging material that can withstand variation in temperature. Remember, it's a butter. It can melt under a high temperature. It can melt under a high temperature. The shelf life of shear butter is important. In fact, it ensure you also put on it the shelf life best before period. Put that also on the cocoa butter, including the production date. Including the production date. Now, talking about shear butter, it's also important to ensure that you put in the right documentation. Now, shear butter will not require phytosanitary and fumigation certificate, but it will require a third-party inspection certificate. Among other required documentation, if you are shipping from Nigeria, application form with your export license, NXP, export license, proforma invoice, and ensuring the inspection is done by the inspection agent to get your clean certificate of inspection and single good declaration, from custom. Also, bill of lading is important. Invoice and packing list are all documents required by the buyer after the goods have been shipped and particularly for payment. What are the problems you face when you are shipping shea butter? Shea butter can get contaminated during processing. Exposure to air and sunlight can create rancidity can create rancidity and this affect the quality of the butter. Shea butter may vary in quality due to differences in processing method. Inadequate packaging can lead to leakage, contamination, and exposure. Shea butter can absorb odor and develop off flavor if stored near strong smelling substance. If stored near snow smelling substance, Ex excess moisture can lead to mold growth, and foreign matter also should be prevented during processing. During processing, has this video been of immense benefit to you? Give it a thumbs up. Do you have a friend that wants to explore share but I want to know how to go about it? Share this video with your friends. It's also important that you drop your comment in the comment section if you have a question. But more importantly, to know when the next video will be uploaded. And in the next video, we are going to be talking about Cashew Canal. Cashew Canal. Cashew Canal. Subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. My name is Dele Ayemibo, and I'm your export doctor, and I'm signing out.